So you guys were one. I'm hearing all you guys just wanted the theme song shortened. So here we go. This girl reviews movies, games, and books. Sometimes she plays them. So does that. And when she does it with the cat, does that make her crazy? Does that make her crazy? Probably. <laughs> so, it's shorter. There you go. <laughs> Crazy Cat Lady or Martha Butler does not own the any trailers or pictures. I use them under fair use. Educational for edu and entertainment purpose. Well, hey, everybody. It's me, Shane Kipple, Spinner from Degrassi. I know, yes, I'm aging like a fine wine. Don't, don't. Stop with the compliments. I can't take all of that. I, I my, my, I'm blushing. I'm blushing. Um, right here, though, I'm, I'm here for a different reason. Make sure you subscribe to Crazy Cat Lady's channel uh, so you can see, you know, lots of lots of Degrassi type content. OK, um, and, you know, you might you might hear some stories. You might get some different takes like this take right now. Um, Hi, everybody. Martha here. So my take is and I on this season is wow. Um, should I call this season 11 instead called cop season? Because a lot um, of scary things happen that would be very scary to see in real life happen when I went to high school. Sheesh. So, um, and I'm going to change, even though um, Spinner is no longer on the show, he wasn't on the show last season either, I'm still going to use Chain Kibble as the intro for this. Hope nobody minds about that. So, and Cameo, cameos can do can be a little bit expensive, so hopefully nobody asks me to um change the intro to an actor that is still on that's still on the show. Anyway, um, so this season, like I said, called a cop season, and if I forget any characters' names, because leave a lot of um, new characters in this show like the last I think the last six episodes four new characters got introduced because um the um, all the kids were based in Lakers um, graduated the game were from Lakers um, and now we have to make room for f new characters since those old characters are now gone and they stopped doing college seasons which Frankly, it's fine. Those two seasons that had college seasons weren't really great, so it's perfectly fine by me. And neither were the movies. So, because a lot of people don't like what happened in them. So I can totally understand why they stopped doing them. And the only thing I don't like about these two seasons so far is how long they are. They're like 50 episodes, and it's hard to keep track of what all that happened. So, like I usually say, if I forget a story, let me know. So, um, gonna and I went to, um, since I couldn't find a name with all the characters, I just opened the, um, the, I know a lot of people don't like Wikipedia, but I opened up the Wikipedia for, um, characters' names, and I'll click on the picture if I don't know that person's character. It's more of a guidelines thing. So, since I'm um, a lot, the ones who are all seniors during the season are now too old, basically, the actors should play them are all basically too old to be in high school. Uh, this made sense for Seb because um, he started getting suggested to play to um, by um, one of the new characters, um, Mo, which I think is a great a great eleven. During the season, hard to tell, but um, he is a new character, and he mostly during the season he's like um, comp like one of those unpopular kids that nobody knows their name to no knows their name of. He is dating Char um, Chardonnay. Marisol, which is basically um, the the girl who taught Papa Wrench and um, Casey's 
and um, Jenny's relationship with him. Like, JP and J- um, my KC and um, Jenny ended up, ended up breaking up because of her and the wonder of fact that um, KC would have wanted to be a teenager and he wasn't able to um, be a dad to um, their baby Ty and also the very main dog later on because he gets adopted. And they both try to be mom and dad with um, Casey's mom helping. and But they're not able to because um, Jenny was writing a song and she ends up um, leaving the baby unintended and it falls over and gets a concussion. And yeah. So a child service calls and she ends up having to give the baby up for adoption because it was basically too much responsibility to her and she almost had to, she was left school for like some time to take care of it because nobody was home to take care of it. So, but back on to, um, basically Sab's, Sab has like two stories this season. He had, he like falls in love with some famous girl that he meets and forgot her, um, Name I'm not really that big to the hip hop, so it's I did not recognize his um, celebrity here. So and um, he they were run away from her bodyguard, and he like lets her go on the stage with him, on her, with her, and that's basically it. But he tries to um, kiss with um, Miss O and almost gets um, in trouble, even though they look like they're the freaking the same age in this show. It's how old Sab's gotten. And if they didn't do that, we wouldn't have been what happened at the end of the season, probably happen because they left with no chaperone and we saw. And when we get to that story, you'll find out why that's not a good idea. So, let me see. Holly J is still sick from um, last season. She's with her um, kidney failure, with her kidney failure. She has to get them replaced. She ends up finding out she's adopted and meets her uh, birth mom. And her mom, her birth mom, would give her the kidney if she pays for it, if she pays her. Apparently, that's illegal because even uh, Yona tries to help her pay uh, helps pay for her back. So the way they get around it is um, that Yona buys like her um, prom dress for um, two thousand dollars, or for twenty thousand dollars instead. So that's how they get around it. And. Uh, Next one is Drew. Man, I'm gonna I'm gonna include um both include like three characters together here: Drew, Katie, and Bianca. Drew and Bianca are both still dating at the beginning of the season. By the end, they're no. By the end of the season, they're not. And it's because Bianca used to be in a game, and we have two members of the game for a game that she was in bugging her. I don't remember the first one because he dies pretty quickly. Um, they accidentally kill him because he was trying to um, <sighs> rape her. And Drew tries Drew comes to save her and said he ends up getting beat up. And so she ends up saving him by dropping a brick on this guy. And then another game member in this one I remember more because he's in the show the season more are more longer and Vincent sees them doing this and blackmails both um both of them into d- being there trying to get them to um be part of the game. Fiona goes back for a while, starts selling drugs and um being basically being a um another sexual assault, I mean basically being sexual assault by him instead. And um Drew gets beaten up by some game members because he's fret- he's threatening him, and he gets Vince thrown in jail at first by um, Dave's dad, 
since Never Dave's dad's a cop, when um, Vincent gives him a gun, instead of going through with it and, and actually going to shoot somebody like Vincent wanted him to, he ends up just giving the gun to Dave's dad and then explains him the situation. So once they did go to the cops, again they didn't later because all crazy this goes. Um, Basil and her season, um, Vin, uh, Drew's going through um, PSD and he's trying to go stay away from Bianca because she's he thinks she's bad news by going to date with Katie instead, which Katie and um, Marcella are both new characters who I think are juniors or sophomores. It's hard to tell. I think they're juniors. But these two girls look so young, I would probably state them for freshmen. But since they um, come class president, I doubt that Katie comes class president by the end. I doubt that she would be president if she was a, if she was a freshman. So let me know what grade she's in. But... um. I think they're I think they're juniors because the next part of the season they're seniors. This is hard when two new characters come in and I have to remember what grade they're in. So sorry about that. So they start out as juniors, but the end they're seniors. So that makes sense. So, uh, Katie and them and the Dane Sheets being jealous about Bianca, thinking that Bianca's going to try to steal him back, and. No, Bianca is just being abused, and um, um, and Ingrid, I think, sees them, her with Vincent, and tries to her out of it by helping her go into tension, and she's just stealing um, money from Ingrid, and giving it to like make it look like she sold drugs to her, and, but. Eventually, she forgives her because she sees how um, bad situation she's in. So, by the end of it, uh, Vincent ends up bringing the gun during um, their prom. And when Mrs. O is away having fun with Vi Seb, he, um, Adam, Drew's brother, ends up getting shot in the shoulder because he was trying to shoot Drew and Bianca. But instead, the bullet hits poor Adam. And Adam gets, gets sent to the hospital. And so that's that's pretty messed up. Like I always, like I said, another year where I feel sorry for Mr. Simpson because last year, last season, a, gun, a night happened. This season, a, a gun. You can't get it, you can't catch a break. So Eli finds out this season that he is bipolar. And he, um, he's still getting over, he tries to pretend that he's not over him and Claire, but he's just mostly taking, um, pills to, like, hide his emotion, because he's still over the whole effect, he's still, um, healing over the car accident he put himself in, when he, um, crashed his, um, mo mass, um, crash his car at the end of last season, and so he's... He's just still figuring it out. Him and Ingrid and Fiona make a play that's basically about Claire's, um, him and Claire's relationship. Claire doesn't like it because it's a it's, um, lie. And he tries to change a lot. At the very end, he just it's a burning the script. And it's, he thought it would be a f failure, but instead it ends up being a hit. Ingrid ends up being um, being role for Claire, but she doesn't show up because um, she was possessed with him and tried to, and they don't know her story since she wasn't there last season. And she, they tried dating for a little bit for a couple episodes, but they're better off as friends because he's still coping and trying to learn how to um, deal with him finding out that He's bipolar. Find out he's bipolar and trying to learn not to um have episodes. So, cause um she makes like an, a little clause of him, and he like takes it the wrong way. So, and breaks into um Fiona's house, 
uh, break into Fiona's house because that's where Ingrid was hiding. And, yep. That's basically it. And Fiona, she almost had to move away because for, I don't remember what the exact reason was, but her mom got arrested and she tried to um, make a carnival happen and she also has to be repeat grade where he trailed again because she's two credits short. Probably when she went to um, go to the court with um, the guy she, who um, abused her a couple of seasons ago. So, um, so she has abstained, but she's like gonna get like a grant to probably get an apartment that's easier for her to take care of. So yeah, and Holly J comes back after she graduates and like tries to help her cope through it. And let me move this over a little bit so we can see the next characters. Um, Dave deals with a lot. He um, cheats on Allie this season and uh, at a girl that he met at camp. And the girl like fall, finds out where he's at and um, keeps on like steals his phone during when they're doing like um old countries um, thing at school. And he steals her phone and makes it look like she's make it like Dave is um, being mean to um, Allie, and he she runs out in the street without looking, and she gets hit by a car. And Dave calls the calls an ambulance and and. Basically, Dave has to deal with the whole, deal with the cancel culture because um, all of um, her friends want him dead for what happened to him and blaming him because they don't know his side of the story. And uh, he like we see like texting like I wish it was you instead. I wish you were dead. All that all that mean mumble jumbo. Cyberbullying, that's what I always think about cancel cultures is another word for cyberbullying. Especially when it's against a, a, a teenager. And uh, Allie tries to hide it away from him. But he ends up finding out eventually and they end up like going to like a comedy place. And the guy who's like trying to do make jokes um, interrupts him and tells him to put the phone down instead. But he wouldn't listen. So they end up leaving because the guy had no idea. The, the comedy guy had no idea what the situation was. So, yeah. Okay, the next one is Kate. Is um, can you see? But I think I already talked about his situation. And Riley, I can't read this one. Okay, I forgot that Bianca basically ends up only, almost going to jail for what she did. But, and we still have not know what's going to happen to her. But Drew's mom, even though that she was against their relationship at first, she's ended up helping, the, helping her um, with it. And I think Drew's dad, which we don't know what he looks like. I guess he's a lawyer. Um, ends up trying to help her through it. And he kind of, she kind of, and... She's like a, a daughter that she actually had, Adam joked. So, and yeah, because um, Katie gets involved with doing um, drugs because of what happens to her knee when she's doing, um, like, I think, I don't know what's about sports. I think it's a world version of, um, junior version, world version of um, soccer, which in their, in their um, country would be football. So, they she ends up um, hurting her knee after she hurts a girl, breaks a girl's nose, and she ends up like hurting it really bad, and she doesn't want end up um, not getting into the the team. So she takes drugs and gets addicted to them, and going to a club with Bianca to get more from a drug dealer. And she ends up going to rehab for a little bit. So, 
And also there was that stupid episode where they were basically doing a horror movie thing. I'm not, you know, as you know, I'm not really a big fan of horror movie. I was like, this is stupid. Nothing's going to happen to these kids in this, in, this, in this thing. This is me watching a bunch of girls screaming. And the result was uh, it's just Claire and um, Jake's mom and dad outside. <laughs> so Claire and um, Jake stopped dating and they end up becoming brother, um, step siblings because their parents marry. And um, it, by the end, is it's by the end, I think Jenny might be dating him. It's kind of hard to say because they're just friends. He say she tells you his friends. Claire, um, Claire runs away for a little bit and joins two people where another understood which would now say, Call the cops again at the screen when I saw these guys. Like, I felt like she was kidnapped for a little while, but then she went on her own free will because, and they end up having weed in their, um, garage i think or something like that or whatever that type of room was and they're selling it they're using like teenagers f as accomplices and dave like when um claire tells jake about this he has he sees like red flags and tells the cops behind claire's back and claire first is mad at him but i think she eventually forgives him and the fact that he does not tell um um their parents about it he because he was they thought she was gonna stay with her dad but nope i don't know if i could keep um if one of my siblings did that as a secret from them so he ha he's pretty he's a really good stepbrother about this anyway so let me go back to the page. Who was I on? I already did her. Okay, um, Riley tries to deny again that he's gay to his mom. And, um, for Wells, she was okay with it, but it makes him and Zed break up. And by the end of the season, he, um, he was able to convince her and now try, now start to convince his dad, which we never see. And um, finally, she um, realizes it's not a phase. So that's the only thing that happens with her. Sadly, um, I don't think Chardonnay's got any, ep um, season, any episodes, even any seasons this um, episode yet. So, I know. Another one that doesn't have that many um, on her episodes. Um, Anya ends up joining the army. After she graduates, because um, she was in love with that doctor that um, treated her mom last season for cancer, and um, she wanted to go with him to um, uh, Kenya or some or see other country, because she thought that he she was twenty, but he finds out the truth that she's seventeen, and by this time she actually is now eighteen, and he's actually gonna move to Kenya and um, tells her. To move on with his life, like even though he should, he it was a bad situation to begin with. He tried her best to let her down easy, so he. I don't really. I find their situation weird, but understandable. So, like once he finds out that she's in high school, he tries his best to back off, but in a in a nice way. So, without and he tries her. Tries his best to not hurt her feelings, but it ends up happening anyway. But she ends up being with Owen for a little while, who ends up having a brother, which we have another season where um, we have two of the older two older characters being um, siblings to freshmen. Again, like we did with um, Claire and Ali come. And Owen ends up helping um, Drew with his fighting thing, and that's how he meets Katie because um, they all do like a little fight club thing. And they get caught. The weight room has to be uh, occupied because that's where they were doing it. And Drew 
almost is um, gets almost hurt somebody in it, and the the fight that the game they some gangsters are just starting or some fight club starting. I don't I never seen that movie before, so yeah. And let's see uh, who's left. Um, Connor. I'm trying to think. Okay, the only thing that happens with Connor this season, he discovers girls' underwears and starts stealing them, and he gets in trouble when um, Allie sees him in there, and she puts his, he pushes her over and learns not to do that. Because <laughs> he... First he date, steals a, Mrs. O's on underwear, then he went... Then upgrade to um, stealing bras, so... No! No, you're curious... But no, Connor. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically what happens with them. Um, West ends up still is up still with um, Hannah by the end of it. He ends up stealing his um, uncle's car. Who's like it? I think it's like this a science teacher, and because he's teaching him how to drive, and he was being a show off and didn't want. Uh, well, I guess a new kid steal Hannah away from him, but he didn't need to do that. Hannah was, was with him, so him they get all three get in trouble because a cop was pull, a cop pulled him over, and he isn't he just has his alarmist permit. So and none, there was not an adult on the car, so yeah, they got in trouble for it. So. Go back to that page. So we got um, a character that we got an actress. Um, if I need, if I remember, is Alex um, Steedy, who is also um, the l little sister of um, of Manny, actress. If you remember, she played Angie, Craig's little sister, Craig's half um, half sister, and. She's now back playing a different character who's a freshman now. They would have been happy if they really kept it who it was, but I guess it's fine. I can totally tell it's her. They, she may look older, but she definitely still has that black curly hair that she always had. So she plays Tori here, and she's with the, another character named Zig, and they also have um, Tristan, who's the new gay, the new gay kid. After um, Riley and um, after Riley, Zig both graduate, and their graduation was pretty good. They didn't have, but they didn't. Most of them didn't go. Um, a lot of them didn't go prom though, because um, Holly J's um, operation happened during prom, so she couldn't go, and. Only one I think went was was um Anya and Seb. So uh yeah, Fiona ends up being with Ingrid by the end of the season. They both kiss on the merry go ground. But anyway, that's these four new characters who are the freshmen. Um We also have um Maya Martin, who's um Kate's, who's Katie's little sister, who is um into cello and tries to go to a bar <laughs> to play cello because she wants to have more challenge. Um, T Tan Zig Tan Tanya, I think it's spelled weird. I think it's either Tanya or Tony. Let me know. Tristan up with Adam. But because they don't know that they think he's gay, but actually he's transgender, so they think they get the wrong idea. And Adam's fine with it; he he understands. And so I think that's basically it. This season was a lot to deal with, but it's fine. It's I don't. Oh yeah, Fiona was with uh. Charlie for a little while, then she almost she loses her cat for a little bit, and 
See? I do like the cat's name. Mr. M Tuxedo Pants. <laughs> and they end up as far as we know, we they end up finding them. We don't see her find him. But she ends up helping Charlie because she went homeless for a while and let her live there. And she thought she brought bed bugs. It was actually her mom bringing, their, bringing bed bugs. And they end up leaving because um, Fiona doesn't... Um, they get the wrong idea because um, she didn't tell her that she's a past alcoholic. And oh yeah, they um, all the like, all the seniors broke into um, Degrassi, the the second se season se um, seniors did, and um, get in trouble. The only ones that could get caught are Ingrid and um, Fiona, Katie and Marcella, both um, talked themselves out of it because they didn't want to um, lose their um. Their, job, their jobs as pregnant president and um, vice president, but that happens anyway because um since Katie got sent to rehab, huh? so and I think that's basically it. So like here and describe our number to see we can we can get through this or it goes there. Bye bye.